Okay, guys, so super quick video for you here. Get my mic on. Okay, so context of the review video we just put out yesterday, um, going through the whole thing of how to get a five-star review. We had a question on it of, okay, so I'm at the job site and I have two options. I can either send them a link to their personal device um, for my reviews page along with the questions to ask, or I can hand them some sort of company tablet, uh, iPad, something like that and then give them the questions probably in like a printout or something like that. When I do it this way, when I give it to them, I'm logged into all of my stuff and they have to log in and how do we handle all of that and what, what steps to follow. So here's exactly what you can do. The main thing is opening up an incognito tab. Um, so if you're on desktop, that's command shift N. And if you're on mobile at the bottom, there's new tab and then private. And basically it's so that all of everything, everywhere that you're logged in, it doesn't know anything about that anymore. And any login information that they put in is not saved. So then you don't have to worry about scrubbing it after they're done. Um, you know, somebody else comes in and tries to log on and then they you have an old client's info. It, it won't save. So everybody that you do this is a clean slate. So that's the step one is incognito window. Then what you're going to do is go to your reviews link. Um, once again, the link to that Google's, uh, specific tutorial will be down in the description of this video and also in that reviews video. If you do not have that, you can Google yourself, um, find your Google My Business, click on reviews. On desktop, you're gonna click on write a review. On mobile, you're gonna click on the stars. It, it's, it's a little bit deceiving here because it seems like you're giving the review and that's awkward before you have them log in. Just click on any star amount, it doesn't matter. You can do five stars for good luck but it doesn't change. It's just a way of, it's the same thing as clicking on write or review. It's just a different way of getting there. They can change the star amount later on. So you're gonna click write a review. If they have a Google account, they'll sign in like normal, no big deal. Um, most people have a Google account. If they do not, then you're gonna go to create account and this is kind of, honestly they set it up in a way that looks kind of like confusing, but here's what you do. You hit create account for myself and then you can hand it to them. They'll put in their first name, last name, and then right here, you're gonna click use my current email address instead. So then they can do first name, last name, their email, password, confirm, and do it. Basically, they're just creating a Google account because everybody that does a Google review needs a Google account to make sure that these are not um, inaccurate or like the people, it, it's a way of creating no spam reviews. It's a security measure. So that's what you'll do. Um, because you have to go through those extra steps, um, you, you could just preface it with, hey, I have an iPad here. Um, do you happen to have a Google account? And if they do, then easy, that's the way to go. If not, it might just be easier to send the link to them. Um, but that is up to you guys. Let me know what you end up liking more. But that's everything. If you guys have no context for this, no idea what I'm talking about, check out the reviews video we just put out. It is super in-depth, 20 minutes long, all about the exact way that you can make sure you don't get ghosted when you ask for that review. Um, yeah, we worked on that one for a while and I'm happy with the way it turned out and we've gotten some good feedback, so it's awesome. Um, Jared, uh, thank you for your question, dude. And if you guys have any more, I'd be happy to shoot another video and help you guys out because that's the goal. So I'll see you guys.